a new route was opened 101 years ago. The construction of the canal represented an engineering milestone of the 20th century. The start of canal operations brought about changes in global trade and economic patterns by shortening distances between production and consumption centers. Since its opening, more than one million vessels have transited through the 80-kilometer-long canal. The Panama Canal expansion, which is the most important project in recent years, is nearing its completion. The waterway that connects the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean is increasing its capacity through the construction of a third lane, in conjunction with the deepening and widening of its navigational channels, to allow the passage of large Neo-Panamax vessels. Over 40,000 men and women have left their mark on this expansion program since the launching of works in 2007. The opening of the expanded canal in 2016 marks the culmination of several years of efforts. The third set of locks project, the most complex component of the expansion program, is coming to an end, while keeping up the pace during the testing phase. The process to insert the 16 rolling gates in the respective lockheads at Cocoli and Agua Clara locks started in December 2014 and finished in April 2015. 152 valves that will control the flow of water in the chambers of both structures were also installed. After flooding all locks chambers, gate commissioning tests were started. The first movement test was conducted on gate number 8 in Agua Clara, continuing with the remaining gates. Once construction of the water-saving basins is completed, basins will be filled up and functional tests will be performed. Water-saving basins reduce consumption of water by 7% in each lockage as compared with the existing locks. Excavators were used to remove the plugs which kept the waters of the oceans in Gatun Lake out of the construction sites and the remaining material was removed through dredging. The construction of machinery rooms and control buildings is ongoing. The volume of concrete that has been poured reached the goal of 4.4 million cubic meters. Third set of locks control systems were also integrated to guarantee the functioning of components used for canal operations. As part of the final phase of training, which is aimed at achieving an efficient and safe operation of the expanded canal, ACP personnel conducted trial transits using the vessel that was selected for this purpose. Three dams were built on the Pacific side, on the north side of the project, to keep the water level required to form the new north approach channel of the Cocoli Locks. The Borinquen 1E Dam lies a few meters ahead on the east side of Pedro Miguel Locks. This 2.3 kilometer long dam separates the current navigational channel from the new channel of the expanded canal, which is 9 meters above Miraflores Lakes level. The new 6.1 kilometer long channel requires the removal of approximately 50 million cubic meters of material. Final phase of this project calls for the removal of the north plug through dredging and blasting activities to allow a direct access to Culebra Cut and Gatun Lake. After intensive dredging works to deepen the navigational channel of Culebra Cut, the historic 13-kilometer-long strip of land that crosses the Continental Divide is ready for Neo-Panamax vessels. A similar task was carried out in Gatun Lake where the navigational channel was deepened and widened using internal resources. Gatun Lake will be raised 45 centimeters to its maximum operating level to improve the water supply for the operation of the expanded canal. The project will add 200 million cubic meters to the water storage capacity. 33 range towers have been installed along canal banks to ensure the safe navigation of Neo-Panamax vessels. These range towers will replace the signals and lighthouses that until now have been in operation at the waterway. The implementation of environmental protection measures is a constant topic at the expansion. To date, more than 900 hectares have been reforested in national parks throughout Panama and more than 5,000 animals have been rescued and relocated in natural habitats. History and science also have their space. The excavations have unearthed valuable archaeological pieces 
as well as fossils of animals and plants that narrate the history of the Isthmus of Panama over different periods, which have prompted scientists to redefine the emergence of the Isthmus. Eight years have passed since the beginning of works under the Panama Canal Expansion Program. The driving force behind the successful completion of works is the courage and dedication of thousands of Panamanian workers. Each cubic meter of excavated and dredged rock has contributed to the progress of this flagship project. With the expansion program, the Panama Canal will redefine maritime industry patterns, strengthening our commitment to water management and enhancing the importance of this century-old route built in Panama. A young and enterprising nation.